y'all i'm trying to okay so y'all like my hair I, I like my hair like this it's, it's a little different um what i did was i actually flat ironed my hair and these were the results <laughs> actually um i flat ironed my hair like saturday night sunday morning so it was it was a little straighter than this but I like the volume, and I think once the length is like here, it's going to be like my old uh, third grade picture, fourth grade picture. I think it was third grade. I'm going to see if I can find that picture and, and post it, like, right. <laughs> but, yes, let me, without further ado, jump into what I wanted to do this week because I, I've been saving this for a couple of days, and all I wanted to do was open my shirt that I purchased from Kelly's Creations, um, which is a small business and it's a black owned business where I got a custom t-shirt. Um, so let me show you. And this is why I really wanted to do like, and I was so excited when she uh, brought, brought me my shirt. I really didn't have any expectations necessarily. I just wanted my shirt. I knew it was gonna be a good shirt because I had saw the picture on Facebook and we did my little customizations but y'all see how beautifully this is packaged it has a thank you in here and washing instructions to my shirt but I think that's amazing so it's going to keep my shirt looking cute um but yeah I'm going to go ahead ooh, I'm going to go ahead and open it and put it on it's still so nice most of the time for me when I when I uh, patronize black owned businesses I've gotten in my opinion better quality and better service so I don't know where the myth started that black owned businesses aren't good I think um, oh, this is so oh, the quality of the shirt I think that um, black owned businesses can be bad but these corporations the ser service and quality is horrendous and we continue to patronize them and not only but do we do that we don't even complain we just keep keep it moving so yeah it says thank you for supporting a small business i think that's the cutest and uh it, it tells me how to wash my shirt but you don't need to know about that because this is my shirt <laughs> i'm gonna try to change into it the way my grandma taught me back in the day so let's see can i let me see if i still got it I did it a while ago on the vlog. I don't think I recorded it though. So we can change clothes in public if you need to. Grandma Ruby taught me this. You don't ever have to be naked. Put it on. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. This might not be for every garment, but it works for a t-shirt. Yeah, I got it. She still got it. She's 38. <laughs> Ooh, I might have ripped something. Okay. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> and this is what I had on. But yeah, this is my Good Trouble t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It says Good Trouble and it's pink letters. And um, what had actually happened, so funny, this is a true story. Um, I kept thinking about that phrase, good trouble, and what all it could mean. And I told I told my mom that I wanted a good trouble t-shirt. And she was like, well, you know, they probably already making those. And I'm like, but I want it to be special. I want it to be unique. I want it to be customized and all of that. And uh, I just, I thought I was going to end up making one myself. Um, but then I saw Kelly's creations. She, um, she posted a, a picture of a Good Trouble t-shirt just like this one, but it was with gold letters. This is pink. I don't know if you can see it. I'm a, I'm gonna get another picture like with better lighting. Um, but uh, like I said, it was she brought it to me packaged so beautifully. Oh no no no! I was I was tell you sorry, excuse me. So um, when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have it. 
I ordered it. Well, I told her I wanted it. She had it done like the next day. And I'm like, once again, black owned businesses are the bomb every time for me. Like I can, I can't, I can probably count on my hands and I, I can't even think of anybody off, off the top of my head where I supported a black owned business, particularly a locally owned black owned business where service and quality was not was not phenomenal like it's always great i live in the south so i'm not even sure what that is <laughs> i'm just waiting for him to get done bruh seriously all right so <laughs> so um but the, uh, another thing that i thought about particularly when i saw this little thank you card because i saw it before i opened it because it was in the cute little plastic was um how for me one of the coolest things about supporting um small black owned businesses is just for me in my experience i feel like they have been so appreciative of everybody that supports them including me um and i think that says a lot because i don't have a lot of money um so if i choose to spend my money with you like it's important to me um and so the fact that I feel like it's genuinely important to them too is always, it just makes me feel good to know that like they care about the fact that I'm using my money to support their business. Um, my, my Mary Kay lady is black. Look, look at this, look at this. And she hooked me up. Um, I bought this, this is paparazzi. I bought this from a black lady um these earrings i did buy these locally but i can't remember if i can't remember they probably weren't black just because black people make you remember them there's always a special level of service with them and then of course this amazing shirt and um that appreciation means a lot and I, i'm not telling anybody how to run their business because i'm not an entrepreneur yet but um but I think just in life in general, when people appreciate you or when you show genuine appreciation, not just saying thank you and come back. No, I mean, like when you can really tell that your purchase and your satisfaction matters to the people that you are, you know, giving your time, whether it's your time, your money, um, you know, your energy, you know, your support, your uh you know advertisement or whatever like when you can tell like i said when i bought this um bracelet i bought a few pieces that day and like the part the lady i bought bought ordered from um I'm, i don't want to mispronounce her name so i will link all of those people my mary Kay lady my paparazzi lady and my t-shirt lady i will link them all in the description but um but like when i bought this like she inboxed me a thank you she tagged me on facebook with a thank you um and it's the same with like it's like it's just appreciation show your appreciation and i think that's the biggest thing i would like for you to do i'm recording this on thursday um but you will see this on friday it's friday should do something to show your gratitude to somebody um uh, today because everybody that you come into contact with is important um but show just show appreciation just say thank you just and mean it you know what i'm saying there might be somebody that you appreciate that you haven't told them lately just hit them up and be like yo thank you <laughs> i appreciate you just do that um so yeah but this is my good trouble shirt that's all i really um had to say today you know was just about supporting of course black owned businesses um and showing appreciation to everybody that you come in contact with. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I will be honest with you on that. I do feel like I'm forgetting something that I was gonna share. I told y'all about my hair. Um, I flat ironed it Saturday, Sunday. It still looks like an afro, but it's definitely straighter than it normally is. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know, but um, still contemplating man my next lyrics for this song I, i've had some ideas i've had some ideas 
about um, lyrics I want to add to the song, but um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how personal I want to get and how, how, which way, which direction I actually wanted to go in, but I'm definitely inspired. I will tell you that <laughs> I'm definitely inspired and definitely excited to work on it. Like I said, I would like to have it finished in August, but I will not, will not rush it because it truly is a labor of love for me. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just keep it real simple. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, so that you will see when that song comes, whenever it comes. Um, share um, so that other people um, that might want to hear something I have to say in any of my vlogs. I, I look. No matter how old my vlogs is, you can still share them. I would really like for you to share them because a lot of work went into them. I don't just want you to watch them for one week. I want you to continue to hit replay, okay? Hit, put me in your reruns, okay? Um, because I really do um, try my best. Um, it has been a long week, y'all. Um, definitely ask for your prayers. It hasn't been a hard week, but it has been a long week. I have worked a lot of hours this week and done, even took some time to do some favors for people and um yeah this week has been busy it's been long and it is only thursday i will not be doing a lot of edits to this video <laughs> i'm gonna put the intro in there a couple of pictures and we good so peace always have peace I. Right? I remember what I forgot. Yo, my G, real talk. Thank you. Okay, it's, I I kind of think about myself in that regard as as you know, I'm a good thing, and I might cause some good trouble if you get into me. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna stop recording because that's all I can share with y'all at this present moment. <laughs> Seriously, one more thing and then I'm done. Um, I do want to say this. This is one business I wanted to mention that I have not bought anything from yet, but I am itching to. I'm itching to, but I want to make sure my budget is where it needs to be in order for me because I want to get some. But this is a candle company called Southern Elegance Candle Company, and it is owned by a black woman. And of course, there's lots of great testimonials about the scents and the. Um, service and all of that but for me in particular um being a southern girl myself and then plus you add to the fact that i am black um the scents and fragrances that she has um listed on her her site is they they all of them look so good and that's another thing i have to choose which ones i want to get and then on top of that um i started following them on Inst following the southern elegance candles on instagram and yo let me tell you these she is in there it's a small place where they make it's like a factory but it's a small factory where they make their products and she's literally in there sniffing and they do it in small batches they just got two big melters though um but it's all very hands-on it's done very, and she's very meticulous about her product so I'm really excited to try it and then not only that um, she is another company that I already know appreciates her customers she's sending out free samples with orders and stuff like that so hopefully I'll be one of those lucky people that when I order something I get a free sample because there's so many different things I want to try um, so yeah I wanted to mention her as well and I'm going to put a link in here and if you want to buy me something and send it to me that's cool too because that is definitely on my wish list but virtually everything that's on her site is something I want so yeah now I'm for real for real done thanks for watching Peace.